iBiquity Digital, the folks behind HD Radio. They've been pioneers in the evolution of radio and, of course, revolutionizing the AM and FM broadcasting industry with its digital radio solutions. It's always a pleasure to have our next guest on because every time we have him on, there's cool new things to talk about with HD Radio. The CEO of iBiquity Digital, HD Radio, is Bob Struble. Bob, welcome back. Dave, it's great to be with you again. Fun things, man. I was in your booth, which was packed with people, and of course, that's got to warm the cockles of your heart, that folks are not only very interested, but everybody's looking at all the cool new radios. You and I worked together over the years when we had a radio that did right. HD, and we were blown away and so excited. You guys have come a long way. Yeah, we, uh, uh, as we were talking about when you were in the booth, we've tripled the booth size uh, this year, and it is just chock full of products. You mentioned that one radio that was a few short years ago. There's more than 100 now. Wow. Um, and it's for every uh, segment. So you've got high-end home radios. You've got clock radios. We've got aftermarket car radios. I'm sure we'll talk a little bit, but the yeah. OEM uh, car market has been really popping. And uh, there's a lot out there. So we're hoping your listeners uh, get on down to that Best Buy, get on down to that Radio Shack, and pick up an HD radio receiver. Yeah, well, maybe even get on down to your car dealer yeah. and, and buy one that has a, an HD radio in it. A lot of manufacturers are stepping up saying, hey, we want to be part of this. Yeah, announcements even at this show, we uh, uh, we always like to track, and you and I have done this for a few years, but track progress year over year at CES. Yeah. Uh, this time last year, there was two manufacturers, BMW and Mini, um, that offered HD radio technology as part of their vehicles. We've got um, cars and announcements from 12 manufacturers now, including this week, Kia. But in the course of 2008, we saw Mercedes, uh, we saw Hyundai, and we, we saw Volvo uh, offer HD radio technology, in some cases as standard equipment. So uh, the momentum on the car side, uh, where a lot of radio listening takes place, you know, has been really exciting. And it, it would be rare, I think, that Into Tomorrow listeners wouldn't know, especially if they've listened to the show any length of time. But just for those folks that might not be familiar with HD radio, let's take that step back and describe what it is and how it's all being uh, worked on and so exciting. Sure, sure. HD radio is the digital upgrade to an analog industry. AM and FM radio is, is right now, uh, if, assuming we get a TV transition, yeah. the last uh, consumer media that is broadcasting in analog. Everything else is digital. Think of cell phones. Think of... DVDs, think of television, think of satellite radio. And we need to get radio digital, um, and that's what HD radio technology does. Digital is better than analog. We know that by now. In radio, that means better audio quality. FM sounds like CDs. AM sounds like FM. It means more choice uh, by uh, means of a, a capability called multicasting. Uh, an individual FM station can mul uh, broadcast multiple different audio streams on their frequencies, so the consumer gets a lot more content and a lot more choice. And as we sh saw in the booth today, it means a lot more services. Yeah. So things like tagging songs for purchase that you'd like or uh, getting real-time traffic updates and a variety of other things to come. And, of course, no monthly subscription fees because you once you buy the radio or you buy the car that's got the radio, you're not paying any subscription. It's over-the-air broadcast, radio as you know it, only better and more Man, choices. You're, you're the easiest to interview because you know it all already. Yeah, well, but <laughs> I should just do your marketing. You should, but uh, <laughs> it, that's really the, the story uh, for the consumers. You go out and you buy a new radio, which, as we said, are becoming cheaper and cheaper, and you get a lot of new stuff and a lot of new services for free. Well, now, let's talk about the number of radio stations that are transmitting in HD yep. and the number of people that are buying HD radios. That's obviously growing, but what kind of numbers do we have? It is. Uh, this year, we're up over 1,800 stations across Great. the country. Um, if you look at that in terms of penetration, 85% of the U.S. population is within reach of an HD radio station. And in terms of listenership, and we've really focused on trying to convert the stations that are most listened to, Half of all listening, uh, radio listening in this country is taking place on stations that have already converted. And again, what that means is when your listeners go out to that Hyundai dealership and buy that new Genesis um, and flip on the HD radio, they're going to get a lot of new content because there's a lot of stations on the air. Yeah, for sure. And, and what's really cool is that you get some great variety as well. A lot of stuff that you might typically not hear on your standard AM or FM. Yeah, that's And those really stations are now saying, well, we're going to give that to you. That's Here's right. some choices. Yeah, the, the capability you're referencing is called multicasting, mm -hmm. um, and that's the ability of an FM station to do multiple audio streams. Uh, a lot of times they're called HD2s uh, or HD3s. And what that enables the station to do is provide niche content that really economically they can't provide on the analog channel. You can't program reggae um, in Washington and make money. There's just not enough people to listen to it. But if I've got a free extra channel, you can do those niche services. So I listen in Baltimore, Washington. We've got gospel. Uh, we've got bluegrass 24 hours. We've got indie rock unsigned bands. We've got three channels of C-SPAN. We've got the British News Service. So uh, a lot of really cool stuff 
that uh, just wouldn't be available on the regular analog channels. Exactly. Now, talk about one of the things that's got me pumped as I walk through your booth, and that is the first ever portable yeah. HD radio. It, and this thing is amazing. It's a breakthrough. Um, we've been uh, toiling away in, the, in sort of the back rooms developing chip technology. And what you need to do with chips is have them operate at a very low power mm -hmm. if you want to get them into portable devices. We've accomplished that. Uh, the device that you and I were looking at in our booth is a, uh, uh, a cigarette lighter sized uh, device, which is not only an HD radio uh, receiver, but also an MP3 player. Um, people can put it on their arm when you're jogging around town and want to listen to those cool new stations on the yeah. HD2s and HD3s. Uh, you've got an arm beer radio and a portable radio that allow you to do that. And of course, unless you're already watching the video podcast of the interview here with Bob, you want to swing by our website. Don't worry if you're driving or otherwise working or unavailable at the on the web. When you can, swing by intotomorrow.com or graveline.com and check out this week's show and the interview with Bob Struble, CEO of Ibiquity HD Radio, and check out the video because we're going to show you the items, or we have, again, if you're watching now, the items that Bob's talking about. Always a pleasure to have you with us, and thanks for uh, trekking over to our broadcast booth. And uh, when you get a chance, see some of the other cool stuff here at Innovations Plus. We're going to walk around. Wouldn't miss it, Dave. Thanks again. Terrific. We're back with more from Las Vegas. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.